Welcome back to the TCO studios and Vikings game plan. Main man Pete Bursich, analyst for the Vikings radio network. It is film room time and we will begin with rookie quarterback Josh Rosen. Peter, what a nice arm he has. Yeah, he is. He's a very, very talented quarterback, which is why he was obviously drafted so highly. He has some tools around him. We'll take a look at how he's doing. All right, Paul, like we had already said, we got Josh Rosen, young quarterback, high first round draft pick. A lot of arm strength. This is a perfect example of his abilities. And so on the outside, Christian Kirk, he's their speed guy. He's their vertical threat. He's yep. the guy that the, that the Cardinals want to get out deep on down the field. Fellow rookie. Exactly. So one thing that you'll notice here is the protection. They have a tight end up top right here that they're keeping in for protection, but they're also bringing in another tight end. So yep. you have seven guys in protection. And this has been really a key, I think, for the, for the Cardinals' offense. They've left a lot of offense on the table, but when they can protect him and he gets to the top of his drop, so you'll nice. see him right here get to the top of his drop, yeah. this safety thinks and times it up, thinking that ball is going to be released right away. He's going to be able to get over the top and at least provide some help to this corner who's outside the receiver. But Rosen pumps the ball one more time, and you look at this arm strength from the 20-yard line all the way down to almost the 20 on the other side. That's almost Holy a 60-yard throw Wow! on time, on the money. That's the danger. He threw it so far that, like I said, the free safety thought that that ball was going to come earlier, yeah. and it ended up being over his head. But it started with protection. Mm -hmm. you got to keep him upright. And we'll, we're going to see a lot of that in, in this film, the protection that goes well and doesn't. Ricky Seals-Jones is another opportunity, another receiver that he has who will sometimes line up as tight end, sometimes line up as wide receiver, very athletic young man. But this is, a, this is a case right here where he gets to the top of his drop, but now he has pressure, and he sees it out of the corner of his eye. Also, at the same time, you notice this, right? This yep. big area here, so you know what you, you have an idea of what's going to happen. He's getting the pressure right down the middle, and like most quarterbacks, when there's somebody in Ooh. your face, you're not able to follow through. And when you can't follow through, that ball has a tendency to sail over the top and almost turn into an interception. So just like any other quarterback... They don't like pressure, especially when it's right down the middle, right down in, you know, in their face. So, again, another opportunity. Ricky Seals-Jones, you'll see him on the outside, stand up this time, not really much of a blocker, more of a wide receiver. And right here, this is an unbelievable job by Wagner, the linebacker, because he comes out of his stance and knows exactly where this ball is going to be thrown, and it's there. He's got, he has room between the linebacker and the safety. So he's making the right decision, and he gets that ball perfectly. Bobby. Right on, right on the hands, and this is the kind of thing Whoa. when you're playing against a young quarterback, you don't want them to have that opportunity to get hot. Proverbial head always needs to be on the swivel. Larry Fitzgerald, watch this. He makes a living doing this. Ooh. That's a chip block. You know, you want to talk about slowing down a pass rush? That is a chip block right there. Mm. He comes in, bad hamstring and all, boom. And he, <laughs> he puts the guy on the ground, Holy steps cow. over the top of him. Larry yeah. Fitzgerald is... You, Receivers catch touchdowns, right? That's what right. they do. That's how they get paid. Larry Fitzgerald has been a run blocking receiver. Super as long, physical. As, as long as we can remember. He's a big man. He's getting, he's got a lot of pop to him. He probably could have been an outside linebacker if he really wanted to. There he is. So Larry, and he's been, you know, we know Larry's been struggling with the hamstring. I don't think he's as much of a vertical threat as he used to be, but he does have some wiggle. By these clips, it looks like they're using him all over the place. They are. They're using the clear routes. They're using them to, to really attack me, and I think the outside. But you're going to see... The quarterback here now, Rosen, getting on the move. Yeah. He's not in the pocket. He wasn't able to set his feet and yep. pump like he throws deeply. Which throws the, the, the Zimmer said this week on radio, they're just starting to get Rosen on the move. It's just happening. They have to. They Because ha you get a quarterback out of the pocket, you're, it's a little bit easier to protect. But you're seeing this area here outlined, the open area. That's where, right exactly where the football wants to go, but he throws it just over Ooh. the hands of Larry Fitzgerald. So you have to keep that in the back of your mind, saying this offense, they have some things going. They just haven't been able to execute. Yeah. And if they can start doing that, you know, they're going to be much more. Well, now it's Christian Kirk in the slot. Exactly. You motion him across. You keep him in a slot. That way you, it's harder to roll up a DB and jam him at the line so he can get his speed. Now, in this case, there's a little bit of pressure right here at the end. Yeah. But a well-thrown ball right on the money, and Kirk just doesn't wow. come down with it. So, again, another opportunity that would put them at the seven-yard mm. line that they didn't capitalize on. You know, Kirk has that speed, but he's got to have you got to have the hands too as a wide receiver. Last example, Ricky Seals Jones on the outside. You miss the jam, big body, 
gets behind. That's where that, that size that you love about a, a hybrid tight end type yep. wide receiver. Ball's delivered right, a little bit over the top. Wow. But one, you know, again, a good pocket. There's somebody at him late, right at the arm. You see him. Yeah. But he's just overthrowing, so he's just off on a lot of these routes. And from George Kittle through Zach Ertz, the Vikings have had problems with tight ends. They have, and and so it's always a concern. So where they, but they line him up in more than yeah. one spot. So I, you're definitely going to see a lot of that, I think, out of the Cardinals, and they're going to they're going to attempt to do that. So defensively, a lot of athletes. This is the old classic block blitz deal. So. You look at Bynes, he knows he has this running back in coverage, but the back comes over to block the other linebacker, and as soon as he sees it, he's able to plant that left foot. Yep. He sees the opportunity, and they just trade off coverage, and he goes for it. Now, the other linebacker, he, he knocks that ball loose, but this is, what Bynes, this is the kind of athlete that you're dealing with. He gets Whoa. to pick it up, being able to get at the quarterback, provide pressure, and then turn defense into offense. So, a mixture of looks. And you're going to see this here outlined by where everybody's lining up. They're just trying to get this center to open this way and then send two defenders right through these gaps yeah. to overload the side. That's all it is. It's a numbers game. And they're able to execute it. They get one guy on either side yep. of, the, of the tackle. He can't be right because there's two guys there. And they get the quarterback down. The, nose, the tackle just occupies the center. And you have one guy on either side of the tackle. Yeah. The guy gets through and makes you know makes. And this guy play. Chandler Jones, he's a handful every play. You have he to is. account for him. Absolutely right. A very long, good player, good pass rusher. So you got to have a guy dedicated to him. And in this case, they're just taking advantage of the of the guard inside, and the guard ends up holding someone, bringing him to the ground, and yeah. you get the penalty. So defensively, yeah, they can be explosive. But we're seeing this again. This is the look that you get. Buda Baker, single high safety, halo on our shoulders, Jeez. right? Way, way, way deep. Looks and like a have, punt returner. Exactly. You have four guys. You don't know which side they're going to overload. You, you, it's just very hard. Yeah. And thank God Kirk Cousins so far this year has been able to dissect a lot of these protections. But very, out, very athletic on the outside. We've had some issues with our tight ends and blocking. And this is when you have these good athletes. They're able to swim underneath, yep. get penetration. So they're taking up the blocker. The fullback is there to block the outside, block the safety. Yep. He doesn't get there, and they're able to get a tackle. Buda Baker, their safety, one of their safeties, leads them in tackles. He had two and a half tackles for loss in this game. And this is one of them right here. And this is what, again, it's not too often that you see a guy who can play the nickel spot in protection and then be able to step up and play in the run. I mean, we saw that for years with Antoine Winfield. I'm not saying he's that style of player, yeah. but he's pretty darn close. He has a lot of, a lot of good ability. So, overall, the Vikings have to make sure that Rosen doesn't get settled that you keep the timing off, you're jamming receivers, you're doing different things, which is hard to do against Fitzgerald, who's a big, big guy. It's hard to do against some of the hybrid tight end types. So you got to get them off their game. You got to get pressure on the young man. They've left a lot of offense on the table. So don't be surprised if they're able early in the game to complete some things and make some plays.